Hello, hello, this is Elf coming to you from Bemis Crafty Corner, and today I have, um, well, I have a requested video for you. Okay, now I started off as a card maker, so I've done a lot of stamping. Um, and so I want to talk a little bit about stamping. Okay, so we're going to talk about the types of stamps what you do with your stamps, how to clean your stamps, and the mediums that you can use and how to make those work, okay? So let's start with types of stamps. So, of course, the one we're all familiar with are the wood block stamps. And these here, which are your acrylic stamps, and then there's also unmounted stamps that you have to mount yourself that are made out of the hard rubber. So the major difference between these is flexibility. These stamps have a piece of foam underneath the rubber so that they have some give in them. So when you're stamping with these, you're going to get a nice, clean, crisp image because you can apply some really nice pressure. You don't have that with these acrylic stamps. So we are going to improvise that, okay? So... If you're going to be working with woodblock stamps, not a problem. You really don't need anything else. But if you're going to be working with acrylic stamps, you're going to need something to kind of cushion the stamp. And there's a couple of ways to do that. One is uh, this stuff right here. And this is that foam that things come packaged in. You can just take a couple of layers of this, put it underneath your stamp, and when you stamp, it gives you just a little bit of give. Or you can go to the dollar store or any craft supply, and pick up some of this um, fun foam. Fun foam comes in sheets of varying sizes and varying thicknesses. Basically, you want to have about an eighth of an inch. So usually about one sheet, fold it in half, glue it together. That's going to give you enough give for your acrylic stamps. Okay, so how do I use my stamps? Okay, let's get a piece of paper. And this is just standard cardstock, okay? Um, real quick, ink. Probably two that everybody has is the Stazon and the Memento. And probably a whole bunch of other different inks. But if you are going to be using any kind of wet medium at all, alcohol inks. watercolors, gel sticks, regular markers, watercolor pencils, any wet medium of any kind, you want to use the Stazon, okay? The downside to the Stazon is over time, it actually eats up your stamps, whether they be woodblock rubbers or the acrylics. So, if I'm stamping something that I'm going to be coloring, I'm going to be adding color to it, uh, I tend to use a gray color as opposed to a straight, harsh black. But for the purpose of this, we're going to use the black. Okay? So, remember, with stays on, it does stay on. So, if you put it on your acrylics, uh, you're going to end up with acrylics that look like this. They're going to have staining. They're going to be anywhere from black to red. Okay. So let's work with the Memento. I have a small woodblock stamp. This fits on the pad. So I can put the ink on this. I'm not going to press and turn. I'm not going to force it down. All I'm going to do is just tap it. Okay. Now this is a wood block stamp, so it already has built-in cushioning, so I don't need any cushion. So I'm simply going to take this stamp, I'm going to place it where I want it, and I'm going to press down firmly on the whole stamp. And I'm going to wait a few seconds. I'm not going to pick this up, because I want the ink to absorb into the paper, okay? 
that's going to give me a good, clean, crisp stamp. I'm not going to take this and put it down and wiggle it because it's not going to be as clean, okay? Now let's take a look at an acrylic stamp. First thing to remember with an acrylic stamp is the block that you choose. You always want to choose a block that's the appropriate size for the stamp that you're using. So I have a couple of just plain wood blocks here. And you want to use the one that's closest to the one that you're, the stamp that you're using. So this would be a little bit stupid. Okay? This is a huge stamp block. It's not the one we want. This one is slightly large. This one's probably the smallest one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually place this in the corner of the block. And I'm just going to put it on there. And then again, I'm going to tap it on my ink. Get my ink up here. I'm just going to tap it on my ink. Just that corner. Not the whole block. Okay? Now, if I put this on here, I'm probably going to get an okay stamp. But if I look really close, I will see that there's actually little blank spots throughout this. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that I get rid of those little blank spots. The easiest way to do that is to put some kind of cushion underneath my acrylic. So I'm simply going to put a piece of this under here. I am not going to mush my stamp. I'm going to tap my stamp on my ink pad. And then I'm going to put it where I want it. And I'm going to press it down firmly. Now, I have a complete line. It's crisper and clearer. And it's darker. Okay? Okay. So there's a lot of um, stamp platforms and things on the market. And basically what they are used for, two things. One is to position a stamp on a piece of paper in the same exact spot each and every time. So if you're making a bunch of invitations or you're making mass produced something and you need to put the stamp in the exact same spot each time, that's what a stamp platform is for. The other option for it is if you're some if you stamp it and it doesn't come out perfect, you can never, you know, like if you use a wood block and you stamp it and then it doesn't come out, you put more ink on it and you go to stamp it again, you get that ugly double stamp. So you end up throwing a bunch of stuff away. So that's what a stamp platform will help you with. So I have probably one of the cheapest, least expensive stamp platforms on the planet. It's called a clipboard and a piece of acrylic and two pieces of duct tape. So this is a 99 cent piece of acrylic from a frame, a 99 cent clipboard, and two pieces of some duct tape that I stole from my husband, a couple of pieces of washi tape to hold down the paper, and let's see, this is my little card piece, and I need to stamp something on this. So all I do is put it in my little thing here, just set it on my platform, use some washi tape to hold it in place so it doesn't move around. And then I'm going to get out a stamp. Now, this only obviously works for acrylic stamps. We're going to be using this set here. Let's see. Let's say we are going to use this rose and this phrase. Okay. So I just decide where I want them, and I put the stamp side down on the paper. Just like that, and then just close this door and press down. Now I've lifted the stamp. Now, I can't take the stamp to the pad, so for this instance, we'll take the pad to the stamp. And we're just going to tap. Okay? 
Now this is a new stamp, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult to stamp with. But we're going to add some ink. We're going to bring this over to our paper and we're going to press nice and firm. And then we're going to lift it up. And it's a little, there's some little spots that aren't filled in. And that's what this platform will help me do. Now I can take my ink, ink this up again. back over, press again, and it's going to make my impression darker, thicker, and it's going to fill in any spots that I missed. Now I can take this piece of paper off, and I can put another piece of paper in, and I'll be able to stamp in the exact same spot on this one as I did the first one. Oops. So I can continue to do this over and over and over, getting this impression as dark as I need it to be getting it all in the same position. That way I can use this, like I said, like in an invitation or something. Um, but if you're just stamping one image and you're going to be cutting it out with uh, a die cut and you just want to make sure that it's the darkest, deepest image that you can get, then this is a fantastic way of doing that. Underneath, I did have a piece of foam just to make sure that I got some push on it. If you don't have these, another one you can do is this one right here. And all this is is a CD case. It's just been modified a little bit, okay? So the first thing I did is I put some... Let me take this out. This is the actual piece of the CD. I just pulled the black piece out of it. And then underneath the little tabs... I put in two pieces of craft foam and a piece of grid paper. And you just kind of put that in. And the little tabs that are already there are going to help hold that in for you exactly where it needs to be. And then on this side, what I did is there's those little, right in here, there's those like the little nips that actually grab onto this when you close a CD case. And I just took them off. I filed them off. I took my uh, X-Acto knife and I just filed them off. So in this instance, I can take the stamp. I can put it where I want it to be. I can ink the stamp up, press the stamp down, and then just open this back up. And my image would be here. If I needed to do it again, I can do it again. I can do it again and again and again. And this cost me literally nothing. This was an old CD case that I wasn't using anymore, a couple of pieces of craft foam that were left over from another project, and a little piece of grid paper. So nothing. So now I've used my stamps and I need to clean them. <clears throat> now, remember, if you get if you get the stays on, it's going to stays on. Even the stays on cleaner does not actually clean them. All it does is just clean it down to a point. So there's a lot of cleaners on the market. They're anywhere from, I've seen them at Tuesday morning from $10 all the way up to the craft store where they're very expensive. Uh, I have a few here. This is the Stampin' Scrub from Stampin' Up. The only reason I have this is because I got it in a box full of stuff I paid a dollar for. Because um, I certainly would not have paid the $30 for this item. Basically, you just kind of spray a stamp cleaner onto it. You clean your stamps. Dry them off and they're clean. Let me get this one while I'm here. That's $30 somebody doesn't need to spend. Go into any 99 cent store and you're going to find these. These are actually those little pads that you put under furniture to move them around. It's the same thing. So all you do with this again is you have one that's for wet and one that's for dry. You put a little spray cleaner on there and you 
scrub your pad and then take it over to your dry one and you dry it and your stamp is perfectly clean. Works on the wood blocks just as easy. When you want to wash these, you just take them over to the sink, put them in some warm water, let them set for a minute, scrub them with a little bit with your fingers and some mild detergent. They come clean, let them dry. It takes about two hours, three hours for them to dry. Perfectly good to go. The next one is this one. These are sponges, but they're very thin, dense cellulose sponge. Again, all you have to do is spray a little cleaner on it. You can actually just make this one damp and keep it in a plastic bag. And then you just scrub your stamp clean and you don't even have to dry it because this will air dry in just moments. If you're a heavy stamper, once a month, take the stamps that you use, go to your sink, get a little pan of water with mild detergent in it, like baby shampoo, ivory soap, something very, very mild, and clean your stamps. Actually sit there and clean your stamps. Stamp cleaner. This is two drops of baby shampoo, a drop of lanolin, and water. And I use it on all my stamps. The lanolin helps keep my stamps nice and um, hydrated so they don't get dried out. They don't crack or anything like that. Baby wipes eventually will leave a residue. Alcohol will dry out your stamps and damage them. So just a little bit of lanolin, baby shampoo, and water. Spray it on whatever you're going to be using. You can spray this directly on the stamp if you need to. And then just take a towel and wipe it off. Whatever works, okay? That's it. Nothing. A couple of bucks. A dollar. A dollar. Pennies. That's it, guys. You have any questions? Uh, you want any further information, let me know. I'll be happy to let you know. Until the next time, guys, do me a favor. Go ahead and hit the red subscribe button. Like me, ring my bell, and share me with all your friends. Because I'm stamping stuff. Bye-bye.